Hey guys, hello and welcome to Zen Innovations and I have this uh, cute little fridge with me. And the fridge comes from Videocon, the model is Marvel and this is from the EcoFresh series. I assume the capacity of this fridge is somewhere around 50 liters. And this thing is also known as a mini fridge or an office fridge. And today we are going to do a two-way power consumption test of this fridge. So the first kind of test would be to find out what kind of wattage or the amount of watts are being drawn from the wall socket for running. And we are going to do it with the compressor running. We are also going to do it with the compressor shutdown. And the second method would be to find out the electricity bills. Yeah, that means money. So in the second part of this video, what we are going to do is find out the electricity bill or the amount which you will have to pay to have this fridge running for say one day, one month or one year. So I suggest that you watch this video entirely without skipping so you can see both of those methods. So let's take a quick look at the fridge. You can see the Videocon logo over here. The fridge comes in this kind of a nice little metallic finish which will blend in any kind of modern office decor. And the fridge is uh, full to the brim with uh, dry fruits as you can see here. So this is going to be some kind of you can say an acid test. Because the fridge is like, you know, there's absolutely no space left over there. So we are going to test the fridge on an upper limit. And to do this kind of testing, we are going to use this kind of power meter, guys. And this product is just wonderful. You can use this product to find out the power consumption of a variety of devices at your home. So if you want to buy this meter, then buying link will be waiting for you in description below. So currently what we are we have done over here is... We are in the kilowatt hours window and the electricity bill which we pay are based on these kilowatt hours. So I have just uh, resetted this uh, window and it currently shows 0.00 kilowatt hours. And I'm going to keep a keen eye on this meter throughout this experiment. And let me show you the date and time over here. So the date is February 26 and the time is night time. That is 11 o'clock in the night. So 2308 that is in 24 hours format. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep a close eye on this fridge. By that time you guys hit that nice little like and subscribe buttons down below. And let's begin today's experiment. Guys the compressor just kicked in and we can see the wattage over here. It started at somewhere around 90 watts, but uh, it has stabilized at 80 watts. And you can try hearing the compressor. And guys, this is obviously the old kind of uh, non-inverter model. And considering old technology, I think that yeah, this kind of consumption is uh, pretty alright. And if you are looking for this kind of fridge for your office or for your personal use, I will try putting links in the description below. You can go ahead and check them out. And the power consumption with compressor running is somewhere around 80 watts you can see. Guys the compressor of this fridge is currently off and let's take a look at the power consumption. So we have a negligible power consumption you can say almost idle wattage that is 0.2 watts. And you can try hearing the compressor. It's completely silent. It's completely shut down. And the power consumption is just 0.2 watts with the compressor off. Welcome back guys and we are at the mini fridge once again. So let's head to the date and time first. So today's date is February 28 and the time is night time that is 11 o'clock. So if we remember the first reading was on February 26 and exactly two days have passed for this reading and I have been completely and very closely observing this power meter. So let's see what this power meter has to say. And this cute little power meter says 0.33 kilowatt hours. Listen again, this is not 3 units. This is 0.3 units or one third of a unit we can say. And the consumption which happened has happened over the course of 2 days. So what I'll do is, I'll just go to the calculator section over here. So let's hit home. Let's go to the calculator. And let me turn off this flash so you can see the screen a bit better. Yeah, that's better. So guys, what happens is that uh, this is the energy reading which we got over the course of two days. So we'll first make it for one day. So what I'll do is 0 
divided by 2 which means that for one day that is 24 hours this fridge will consume 0 0.165 units of electricity and here comes comes the question regarding the electricity cost and some people say that well electricity is pretty cheap it's uh, 3 rupees or 5 rupees a unit some guys will say that no it's pretty expensive at uh, 10 rupees so what we'll do is we'll use an uh, above average rate and i think that 8 rupees per unit is going to be a good idea for this video so i'll multiply this uh, figure by 8 rupees and the answer we get is 1.32 so what is this 1.32 let me explain it to you guys if you want to run this kind of fridge right this small 50 liter fridge for one day using the grid energy in india right so the cost will be 1 rupees 32 paisa right and what we'll do here is we'll multiply this by 30 so if you want to run this fridge for one month the cost is going to be less than 40 rupees but we don't use this fridge for one day or one month do we we use them constantly we use them every day so we'll multiply this figure by 12 months so here we go that is multiplied by 12 and the cost and the cost for running this kind of fridge for an entire year is less than 500 rupees so the answer today is 475 rupees for running this kind of fridge from the grid using an above average energy cost so let's come to the conclusion so the first question that i usually get on my videos is that sir since the power consumption of this fridge is very less should we try running it on solar energy or a solar inverter and my answer would be sadly no and the reason is that this fridge is not based on inverter technology so even if the average power consumption of this fridge is pretty less the inrush current is going to be pretty strong so what happens is that when the compressor start up it sends a jerk load through your solar system or your inverter and that may cause a problem with your inverter so if you have a big huge giant inverter something like 3 or 4 kV in the range well yeah it does not matter but for a regular household inverter in India say 1 kV or 2 kV running this fridge on solar energy or using the battery inverter system is going to be a bad idea but guys if you are keen to run a fridge on solar energy I have a couple of dedicated videos over here one of them is a buying guide and other is a discussion video where I have explained how to choose the fridges for running on solar energy or off grid solar inverter and which fridges you can buy again the links you can find in these particular videos so you can go ahead and check it out over here in the i button or I'll try putting the links in description below so you might ask well Zen this fridge is kind of useless well no guys let me tell you who can buy this kind of fridge so the thing is that this fridge is pretty economical to run using the grid and someone is looking for a small cute fridge for personal or office use can buy this fridge the buying links will be waiting for you in description below where you can go and check out the prices so that was it for this little video guys i hope you liked it share this video around make it viral and take care and have a nice day guys welcome to extra content and i've been observing this fridge for somewhere around say 20-25 uh, minutes right now and the compressor is currently off and over the course of uh, this uh, 15 to 20 minutes of my observation the compressor uh, went on and off for i think about three times so what is happening over here is that since the volume the storage area of this fridge being pretty small the compressor starts up very quickly cools this area and then it shuts down and I think that over here we can see that the compressor just kicked in once again and it starts at 95 watts and then it very quickly drops down to somewhere around 80 watts and due to this due to this behavior I think that even if the peak wattage of this fridge is pretty high somewhere around 90 watts but the average running load is going to be pretty minimal if my thinking is correct what do you think guys let me know in comments below